And we continue to track that breaking news this morning out of the Hamden neighborhood. Yeah, a two alarm fire affecting nearly a dozen homes. 11 News reporter Jennifer Franciotti is live from Union Avenue with the details. And Jen, at least one person was injured. Yeah, that's exactly right. One person injured, taken to the hospital for some minor burns. And guys, in the light of day, you could really see the extent of this damage here. It happened in the 800 block of Union Avenue in Hamden, and it's impacting 10 row homes here. Let's go ahead, though, and take a look at video when photographer Christopher Nicholson was first on the scene this morning when that fire broke out just after 2 o'clock this morning. Flames were shooting through the roof, and it didn't take long for it to quickly spread. It grew to two alarms as residents got out out and tried to get you know away from the flames. I've uh, been talking to some residents here on the scene who talked about hearing the crackling sound and then looking out the window and seeing the flames leap from home to home to home. Ten homes impacted, eight by fire, two by smoke damage, and fire officials say they have a lot of cleanup to be done. We make sure we're checking for extension, make sure it didn't extend in any homes. And then we have overhaul where we're cleaning out and boarding up because we don't want to leave anything. You know, people's valuables, these are their homes. And right now, hours after this fire first began, firefighters still putting water on the fire. Earlier, we were seeing fire dripping down from the second floor, and now it appears they've gone back in to take care of any potential hot spots. We've also been seeing them clear out the house where it's believed this fire first began, number 806, but you can see the fire damage on either side. Uh, we've seen residents helping their neighbors this morning uh, right across the street. We've been seeing residents come out and giving coffee to neighbors, water to neighbors. One a woman showed up with her daughter now serving sort of as a therapy dog for some of the other residents who are still just shocked and basically traumatized by this. This happened overnight. People were sleeping and they got out as fast as they could as quickly as this fire was spreading. And we watched uh, firefighters actually escort a woman inside to one of the houses badly damaged by the fire just to find her glasses. And remarkably, she actually came out not just with her glasses, but with some other materials, including a fireproof box. And, and then in talking with another resident, he said that that immediately hit him that he guesses that that's what they need to get now too. His house was also damaged by fire, but not nearly as uh, much as some of these other homes have been. And they're just waiting now for some of the hoses to come out so they could get back in to see just how bad the damage is. At this point, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Talking with someone from the emergency uh, operations department with the mayor's office, they've been doing a head count. They say 22 people have been impacted by this fire. Again, 10 row homes in total and the Red Cross apparently is on their way to try to help some of these displaced residents. Reporting live, Jen Franciotti, now back to you.